Hello everyone, this is Steve Suresh, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering. Now we are going to see about the black body radiation and how to calculate the value of Stephen Boltzmann constant for the given disk through the virtual lab. Okay. okay. Then black body is the ideal body which absorbs all kind of radiations once it reaches the steady state temperature, it releases all the absorbed radiations. Our main aim of this experiment is the to find out the value of Stephen Boltzmann constant for the given disk. Stephen Boltzmann constant is used to, to measure the uh, heat radiated from a black body. Right? Uh, this is the procedure for this uh, experiment. Uh, this procedure is categorized into two parts. Without disk, we are going to calculate the temperature values. With the disk, we are going to uh, note down the some temperature values. Right? This procedure part will be explained through simulator part. Right? Then we go for simulator. This is the uh, simulator setup. Uh, this uh, apparatus is the Stephen Boltzmann apparatus. Through this apparatus, we are going to calculate the value of uh, Stephen Boltzmann constant for the given disk. This is the front view of the uh, setup. Now we are going to see about the cross sectional view by clicking this checkbox. Okay, uh, this is the cross sectional view. Uh, first element is the hot water tank. This produces hot water. Inside the hot water, heater is fitted. By using of heater, we are producing hot water. Okay, so output is the hot water. Water temperature is the 35 degrees Celsius. Second main element is the main switch. Okay, third element is the temperature indicator. It is the made up of thermocouples. It is the uh, one of the temperature measurement indicator, which is used to measure the temperature at a nodal points. Right. This is the hemispherical uh, setup. Uh, final one is the uh, disk. For this disk, we are going to calculate the value of uh, Stephen Boltzmann constant. Right? These are the places we have to measure the temperature value. T1, T2, T3 for the hemispherical disk. T4 is related with the disk. Okay. Now, uh, these are all the uh, details. Mass of the disk is the 5 gram. Radius of the disk is 1 centimeter. Temperature all the T1, T2, T3 values are noted by clicking this buttons. Right, okay. Then I am going to uh, power on the switch. Now, uh, system is in running condition. This hot water is flowing around the hemisphere, right? Hemisphere annulus. Okay, uh, we have to wait for some time for steady state condition. Uh, once uh, reaches the steady state condition, we have to measure the three temperature uh, points uh, T1, T2, T3. T1 is 35 degree, T2 is 35, T3 is 35. Okay. Uh, in a reality situation, uh, these uh, three values are in uh, different one. These three values are uh, ent should be entered into your tabulation. Wait. Uh, this is the tabulation part T1, T2, T3 value. Average of this value is uh, called as the hemisphere temperature. Okay. Then, then I am going to attach the disk with this apparatus. Okay. This is the main part of this experiment. Right. By fit this disk by clicking this button. Now the disk is attached with this apparatus. Uh, uh, timings are uh, uh, running, right? Uh, disk temperature is the T4 temperature. For every 15 seconds, we have to measure the T4 value. This is the uh, T4. For every 15 seconds, we must note down the value of T4. Uh, we have to wait for steady state temperature, okay? Uh, uh, slowly, its temperature is increasing. We have to wait T4 as steady state condition. 30.9831. 30 slowly, its temperature is increasing. Uh, this disk is absorbs radiations from the hemisphere. 
so that only temperature is gradually increasing for certain after the certain condition it reaches steady state temperature we wait for some time right it reaches the steady state temperature 31.5 degrees celsius uh, previously i have uh, uh, i told for every 15 second we have to note down the temperature changes this uh, t4 steady state temperature should be entered into in this place this is the change in time this is the change in temperature for every 15 seconds we note down the temperature finally uh, final values are uh, in shamer value this value is the considered as steady state for the disk okay finally we have to calculate the sigma value stefan boltzmann constant right uh, we are going to call by using this formula q uh, is divided by epsilon block body of uh, emissivity uh, td uh, t alpha uh, and uh, area td is the disk temperature surrounding temperature q is nothing but mcp dt this slope is calculated through this graph and the uh, mass of the disk is uh, 0.5 grams cp of the disk is 38.17 joule per kilogram kelvin by using this values we are going to calculate the stefan boltzmann constant for the given disk thank you thank you for this opportunity provided to me